I think I just keep going until they finally stop me. Dude, if you don't stop trying to pit me, I'll start pitting you, okay? And we know who's going to win that one. Right, let's have a little ride through the... Really? Nope, not clear. I just hit that police car. Oh shit. Yeah, there goes my tires. What's up guys, GD Gamer here and welcome back to OCRP and today I'm doing some stuff on my own. And um, it's actually something I've been wanting to do for ages, I've just not got around to it. I want to get into a pursuit, but unlike other pursuits where you put your foot down and try and lose the cops, I'm going to try and get in a pursuit where I don't break any traffic laws. And that's a lot harder than it sounds, because remember, the police will pit you, especially at low speed if you're following the speed limit. They will literally just pit you, and I can't just drive off from multiple pits. And I want to keep it going for as long as I can, so... I need a vehicle for it. That cop almost got killed then. And I'm trying to think of a good vehicle, and I think I may have one. In fact, it's even better. If I can get it, I'm going to definitely try. I might be able to get in a pursuit without even having to break the law to get the police attention. Which will be good. I don't know though. I might have to settle for a different deal. Maybe a truck or something? But I think this is certainly going to be interesting. So I'm down on my way down to the city now. That goddamn car. And I'm going to buy... Oh, don't. Please don't. I didn't do anything wrong. I'm going to buy a... Uh, truck or a bulldozer or something along those lines. Is this cop really going to stalk me? Come on buddy, speed up. Come on, go! God damn it, go! You're on a highway, go! That cop wants me, I know he does. I'm going to try and keep my speed around 65. No, he's going that way. Huh. It looked like he wanted me then. Okay, I'm fine with that. Right, as I said, I'm going to go down to the city and try and get some kind of vehicle where I can do a pursuit without uh, getting pitted. Then I just have to worry about spike strips. <laughs> That's how you change lane. <laughs> really? Really, dude? Frick. <laughs> That's my little karma revenge there. You really think you're going to beat me when the light turns green? I would like to see you try, motherfucker. You may have a high vis, but I'm faster. And that actually took longer than I thought to overtake him, but I did it. I need to be in this lane. Why why am I waiting for red lights? Just <laughs> Nah, motherfucker. No cop, no stop. That's the rhyme. That's a uh, sieve there in that tow truck. Ooh, you prick. A tow truck with pursuit would be quite fun. I don't know, I might have to look into that. I'm not sure if you can do that. I fucking hate these AI. <laughs> Lol. No cop, no stop. <laughs> tow truck. Oh, there's cops there. Oh, that scared me a little bit. That's probably where our tow truck's off. Uh, let's just pop into here. Um, I'll park my car there. Alright, what can I buy that they can't pit? Uh, I mean, a 200 grand for a biff, really? I could go on a mule pursuit. That would be interesting. It would be quite cool owning a big truck like that. Ooh. Packer, Phantom. Mm. Mm. 
<laughs> Something tells me I would get in trouble for having this. Like for going on a pursuit in an armored truck. I don't know. I just I kind of want it now, though. Do do I buy an armored truck? That's a lot of RP ideas I could use with this. Um. How much is it? 450 grand. What else have they got? That's it for that. Uh, a, bitch. A, a, a limo pursuit. How much is the limo? 90 grand. I could afford that. Um, ooh, no, I'm not paying 450 grand for Trashmaster. I kind of really want that, but no. These are very expensive. Jeez. Bugstar. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna get a stockade. So I need to run to the bank now, that means, and get some money. Where's the nearest bank? I don't actually know. I think it's around the corner. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go to that one. Okay, guys, so I got half a million uh, dollars on me, and I'm going to go and buy that truck now. No cops. And, um,. I've set up a character called Group 6 Security so I can actually register it, it the vehicle to Group 6. And um, I've also thought of a little backstory of why I'm going to go on this pursuit. You see, my boss told me, it's my first day, Wrigley Ballsack needs to get a job, he hasn't got much money. And my do boss told me, no matter what, you do not stop. So when the police car goes behind me with its lights on, I do not stop. I think it's a pretty good uh, scenario. I also need, in that case, a pistol. Uh, I don't think there's a way for me to get a truncheon. Um, okay, I'm just going to have to stick with a pistol and maybe a taser if I can go in. In fact, I can put my car away now. Didn't even think about that. <laughs> um, I do need to get a security uniform, but that can be done easily. Uh, return vehicle. Right, let's buy group six. So it's right at the end. There it is. 450 grand. <sighs> yes. I'm going to regret this, but yes. And now to get my uniform. Okay, so I had to cut my hair, but um, got the uniform now. And um, the only thing I need left to do now is go get a gun, which I can easily do. So I'll pop to the ammunition around here. It's not legit, but fuck it, we're not allowed to stop. The only rule I might break is if they try and box me in, I'm going to force my way out. Um, but that does make sense within the storyline because my boss warned me about fake cops trying to box people in. And obviously I can't fall into that trap. I'm literally just going to keep going until I literally can't go no more. That is my entire plan. Uh, I'm stopped, I can't be stopped. I'm going to have to go around this jackass. But yeah, after I've got my uh, gun, I'm going to go fill up with money at the bank. And then I can't stop. Did that dude seriously just ram me? Um... Sorry about that. Hey, no worries, man. It's an armored truck. I got you. You're good. <laughs> okay. Um, I didn't even see that fire extinguisher. I don't think it was there in my eyes. Right, I'm off to the bank now to fill up with some money, and then we are going. I'm going to try, and I know the cops probably won't do it because they're fucking suckers, but I'm going to attempt to convince them that the back of the truck is locked. I am going to tell them this, there's like two million dollars in there though. I'm not actually going to put my two million dollars in there because if they confiscate it I'm kind of screwed. It took me a lot of time to accrue that much money. Um, how do you get to the Union Depository from here? I think it's the next street over. I'm just going to assume it is. Right, okay. Two million dollars in the truck. And um, I think it's time to hit the road. So, I'm going to close the back doors before someone sneaks up and steals my money. 
And now, um, so where are we trying to go? That's a good question. So I want to go up 13. Um, let's go to Polito Bank. I think that's where the money's going. Uh, which way will that take me, though? I think that'll take me up 13. I don't want to go up 13. Well, I do, but only as far as it. Okay, so we're going to take an obscure route just so they don't... Any criminals in the waiting won't know which way we're going. That's my thinking. And uh, let's see what happens. So how do I get out of here this way? Nice little uh, unmanned security checkpoint there. And I need to go down here and take a left. So I'm going to start driving and as soon as something happens I will bring you guys back. And go through this red light. Because my boss told me not to stop. Oh. A police officer saw something back there. Right, and now finally I'm going to run through this red light and start heading up 13. I'm hoping that a security truck driving around will raise some suspicion, especially if it's driving recklessly. But then, I don't really know. We could just get to Polito and be fine, but I don't know, I'm rather hoping the police try and mess with me. And then I'll take them on a nice little pursuit. Ooh, 66, I think, yeah, he clocked me then. Okay, so I'm going to play that like it was a uh, slip of the accelerator. Ooh, you fucking... Go faster, you twat! And now I cannot stop. That's the only rule. I'm going to bear as many traffic laws as I can. I just can't stop. AI, move, please. For the love of God, move. God, I f mm, I'm going around. Awesome. Yep, that cop wants me. Can't stop. Sorry, bud. So just keep it at 50. And let's see how long this goes on for. Come on, AI, move. Can't stop. Sorry, bud. Nice car. That's the new uh, unmarked Charger we got. We also got an unmarked Tahoe and Explorer, I think. And the uh, PD got new skins, which you might notice. Come on, bud. Move. Go faster, please. You're doing like 25. Come on. <laughs> Uh, this is annoying me. The AI is so annoying in GTA. This AI needs to speed the fuck up, I swear. <laughs> this is driving me mad. I think I hear a, a siren then, of another unit coming in. I'm surprised the AI arc hasn't uh, darted off to one side yet. They usually do when there's a siren in them. That is odd. This is driving me nuts, this AI. Do they really need two speedometers? Not really. Dude, shut up. I can hear you. I'm just not pulling over. <laughs> Please turn left. Please. Please. No. I'm surprised there's no backup units yet. He must have called this in as a pursuit. It's probably because I'm not driving reckless. That's probably why he's like, is this a pursuit or can he not hear me? I can't wait to get on the highway so I can overtake this bastard. <laughs> Turn left, please. Please. I will slow down for you to take the left turn. Yes, thank you. Ah, uh, now I can get going again. Jeez, that was like walking backwards slow. It's just, ugh. I don't like driving slow. Let's just hold it at 50. 
Oop, speeding a bit. And then on the highway we can go to 65, which is fine. That's ample speed. Of course, this does present us with a problem as well as them. Their problem, how do you stop an armoured truck? My problem, how do you deliver to a bank when you're surrounded by uh, what I assume to be police impersonators? Okay, here comes a secondary. Can you please turn the siren off, dude? I, I see you, I'm just not stopping. Turn left, please turn left. And you're going right. Can't stop. Oh yes, thank you. Right, we can hit 65 now. I am fine with that. 60, 63, 60, no, 59. Changing gear slows this truck down quite a lot. Literally, I'm not going to try and break any laws. I think I ran a stop sign back there, but I mean like actual, uh, uh, no stopping, that's the only rule pretty much. And I have three imposters behind me. Is he going to head to lay spike strips, I wonder? If he is, I'm sticking behind this AI. <laughs> okay, I'll slot in here then. I thought they were going to stop. My boss told me I can't stop, man. I was doing, um, this is quite funny, I was doing Stringer the other day. And they were chasing a bulldozer. And on the radio they was like, can we pit it? And the other cop was like, no, you cannot pit a bulldozer. <laughs> I love the way they had to actually ask though. Like, can we pit it? No, it's a bulldozer. It will crush you flat. I think he's going to shoot my tyres out. In which... Oh, I see the stringer. Stringer? The stinger. Nice try. <laughs> uh, unlucky, guys. I'm trained to deal with stuff like that, working for Group 6. Oh, no, I didn't speed them. I thought I did. Trying my best not to. It's kind of difficult, though. You ain't pitting an armoured truck, dude. That's why I chose it. <laughs> and yeah, I know I'm doing a few illegal overtakes, but honestly, it's to get away from the police imposters behind me. I don't know the real cops, I ain't getting out to find out. AI, please go faster. Please. I'm thinking just keep going until they finally stop me. Dude, if you don't stop trying to pit me, I'll start pitting you, okay? And we know who's going to win that one. Yes, I'm going left. Left lane. <laughs> Thing is, it's an armoured truck. You wouldn't try and pit this in real life. Deer. Saw that deer. I was hoping to hit it, to be honest. But yeah, you ain't pitting an armoured truck in real life. Apparently Jacob's now playing two different games according to Steam. <laughs> oh, light would turn green just so I go through it, wouldn't it? Um, I'm going to take a swing by the bank to see if there's any possible way for me to uh, take the money inside. It's the next left. Getting quite lucky with these lights today, actually. <laughs> I just I find it so funny that they tried to pit an armored truck. Right, let's have a little ride through the 
Really? Nope, not clear. I just hit that police car. I got a feeling lethal force will be authorised. Oh, this is a 30 zone, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure when I start, lethal force is authorised. So I have to be very careful on how I get out of this truck. Stop ramming me, dude. Come to a brief stop, there you go, that's enough. Now back on the highway. This is funny, if they genuinely get a good pit on me and I spin out, I'll RP it, but I'm not RPing a little tiny ram like that on an armoured truck, because it would do nothing. A spin out, yeah, that would damage me. That could flip me over, I could hit something. But a tiny little tap, like the one this guy's about to try and deliver, is going to do nothing. There he goes again to put more spikes down. Oh, we got another cop up here. Okay, I'm going to be nice and pretend I don't see these until the last minute. Oh, I didn't actually hit them. That's a surprise. I don't think I did. Nope, I just managed to avoid that one. Thing is, though, as soon as they get my tyres, that's when they will have the upper hand. What are you doing, Exploder? Go away. You're annoying me. You're like a mosquito compared to this. You're just annoying. I will swat you in a minute. Ah, the tunnel. That is a good place for a stinger. I hate to admit it. If he puts a stinger at the end of this tunnel, I'm probably going to have to hit it. Oh, shit. Yeah, there goes my tyres. Okay, I wasn't expecting it to take all four tyres out. That's a little bit... Mm. Shit. How am I going to get out of there? Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? I think that was the worst timing ever to get a 10 0. <laughs> They're not very common when you, your game crashes, but when they do, it's a pain. So uh, I guess you guys get an inside look on how we deal with that. I'm going to try and leave off, continue where I left off, but there might be a little bit of indifference. There might Something might have happened with my vehicle or something. That really sucks. Right, it should be loading in any second. I don't know where I will, I'm going to be, somewhere on the motorway, I suspect. And my truck will probably be quite a ways away from me. I'm going to have to run up and... Uh, try I might just get in the vehicle and RP that I crashed I couldn't continue because the tyres I think that's what I'm going to do right where am I right there's a tunnel so my, my vehicle should be right here ok hey man, did you 10 0 uh, yeah I'm running back to the scene now ok no problem I need to put my security clothes on player appearance uh, ped 10 Security, I had a hat on. <laughs> uh, yeah, that one. That'll do. And I got my gun. Right, so, jump over the barrier. <laughs> this is so not legit. Um, wait, where are the cops? Uh, okay. Ah, there's a cop. I think everyone 10 0'd. Um, get out. 
Get out. Do not hit my car. Do not hit my car. <laughs> I swear to God. Get out. I'm gonna reverse that. Watch crossfire. Get out of the vehicle. Um, Get out. Do not come towards me. Get out. Put your hands up. Oop, gun out. Put your hands up. Put your hands Drop up. Get away. Drop the gun. Drop the gun. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. That, that didn't work. I got you covered on lethal. I got you covered on lethal. Um, I got you on lethal too. Drops. Gun. Got <laughs> And I'm gonna throw the gun quickly. This Dude, door. what the fuck was this in aid of? Do fucking enlighten me. I want the cops here. What? We are the cops. Prove it. Who do you think was chasing you, genius? Who do you. Th I'll prove it when we slam the cell door shut. How about that? I was told not to stop for anyone because police impersonators. My boss told me that. Dude, okay, I'm gonna pick up this one. Your boss is an idiot, and your boss is the reason why you're going to jail now. Two marked highway units and two marked deputies were fucking chasing you halfway across the highway. I mean, surely that must have clicked in your brain that, hold on, these guys are actually real cops. Listen here, I've lost a friend because police impersonators. A friend at my company I've worked for for 20 years, so don't give me that lecture. <laughs> Okay, oh, we're going to jail now. Genius, so. Yeah. Uh, who wants this genius? Because I, I, I am not fucking dealing with him right now. I started the initial stop, so he's coming over me. It's a, yep, all right, all good. I can take him. I'm gonna search his vehicle. Do you guys search him? Yeah, I confiscated a 50 cal pistol and a taser. Alright, uh, thanks. In back. Oh. But double check because you never know. <laughs> Good luck getting in. Um. Nah, I was gonna do activates panic alarm, but nah. All right, do you have the key for the safe in the back? It's a keypad. Combination. What's the code? Notepad. Not telling you. Documentation. I mean, you want an extra charge, you know, slapping on for obstructing to a police officer. I'm then pretty sure the, fucking means. the pretty sure the Explorer has a saw on it. If you want to try that. Yeah, I got a saw. Hang on. Oh, by all means, crack it up. I also have a yeah. ghost pepper, so if the saw doesn't work, the ghost pepper will. It's reinforced, and I don't know the combination. It's a company truck, I don't deal with that. The dude back there directing traffic. Okay. Actually, no, I think that's a woman. Yeah, it is. There's a substantial amount of money in the back of this thing. I wouldn't know anything yeah, about it. any ID on you? Yep. Alright, what's your name? Hands group 6. ID. Oh, there it is. Here you go. What is my name? How do you spell this name? Wrigley Ballsack. <laughs> oh, Mr. Ballsack, I've had fucking meetings with you before. Yeah, well, I've got a job now, so shut it. <laughs> Need to wow, sign into the that's, cab. that's a nice attitude to have. Well, yeah, you tell me to get straight, and I go straight, and you tell me off for it, so fuck you. I mean... I mean any normal, reasonable person would realize, hey, there are four cop cars behind me, maybe I should pull over and see what's going on. I was told not to stop under any circumstance. Oh my god, he actually cut the door off. Oh, I guess the door needed to come off too. Alright, what do I find in the safe? <laughs> Fine. Uh, I found some documentation up front. Two. Uh, a lot of, million. supposedly a lot of money is supposed to be in that safe. And okay, let's see. 30 bars of gold bullion. <laughs> Alright, how much money about did you, did the documentation say there would be? Um, 
I think it indicated like two million or so. Okay, yep, there's about two million in cash here and about 20 or so bars of gold bullion. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm gonna let yeah. you guys handle, uh, handle securing that. I'm gonna take them to the BCSO. I'm gonna let you know at this time you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in the court of law. Do you like the, the new right charger? Yeah, it's so nice. Attorney. It will be provided for you by the state of San Andreas. Do you understand these rights and privileges in which I have read them to you? I understand. I want my phone call. I need to call my boss. Okay. And yep, he's just lost five million. Said, uh, <laughs> yep. Do you still wish to uh, speak to me without a lawyer present? Yep. I have nothing to hide. I'm a good, honest, working person. Okay. Regardless of that, it doesn't matter what your job is. You, the law. But I was. It was a choice between lose my job or lose my liberty. Wouldn't you lose your job over pulling over for the cops? Yeah, I was told not to stop under any circumstances. Okay, I'm pretty sure the police pulling you over are extra circumstances. Like... No, that was included in the meeting. I was told not to stop. Well, then your boss is going to go to jail too. Okay, good luck. <laughs> Here's a tip for you, you can sue your boss. I may just do that. Hey, Ray, watch your head getting out. I'm ahead. <laughs> once we uh, once we get inside, give your boss a call. I'll give you the phone. Shakes a boss, gets fired, threatens to sue boss. Boss states he holds no liabilities for my action, but admits to telling me that not to stop. <laughs> <clears throat> Fucking... Bureaucracy, man. I'm totally gonna fucking sue him. Yeah, you can. <laughs> Are these phone calls recorded? For, uh... Yeah. Add that so to the evidence. That. Yeah, I will. Use <laughs> that for uh, false legal advice that he gave you not to stop. Um, I can't Taking take my gun out my holder. Is, unless you're a lawyer, is a uh, crime. Um, Negligent. I'll bear that in mind. Why are my hands white but my arms black? I genuinely did, didn't realize I was black. My ID states I'm a white male. With. I mean, obviously, aggravated fleeing and looting. Dude, I was just trying to pull you over and tell you not to pass, be speeding down Route 68. You stop for that, you would have been on your way. You also have bulletproof windows. Like, all I had to do was shout at you. <laughs> yeah, I know, but... At least I slowed down afterwards. I didn't break any traffic laws after that. Yeah, but, I, I mean, you failed to yield. And, I mean, I was told not to, so... No, man, I would have lost my job if I'd stopped. How did I... Yeah, I know what you're saying about there being two cars behind me, but I've seen organized crime like this before, where they get fake police cars, pull someone over, beat them into a coma. And I didn't want that to happen. Okay, boy, I, we're not fake police. Like, yeah, but I didn't know I that. I can understand a completely unmarked car, but having a marked car, that's not gonna... I've seen it before, man. Good buddy of mine got beat to death by a guy in a, in a marked police car. Thought well, he was I'm a real car. i hear that, but... Yeah, I mean, you can always call Tugging dispatch. at the heartstrings much? Ask if it's a... Yeah, I, do... my phone was in the glove box. I couldn't reach it. I'd rather concentrate on my driving. <laughs> Alright, well, you're being charged with aggravated fleeing and eluding and possession of a concealed weapon during the violation of a category uh, M1, F3, or F2 statute. That's, um... Issued by my employer. I'm allowed to carry that. Still in possession of it. Yeah, I know, but you're still in possession of it. it. It doesn't really matter what your job tells you to do or allows you to do or gives you. You're still in possession of it. Anyway, guys, that was quite a uh, decent episode today. As I said, I tried to break as few traffic laws as possible. Um, other than the fear and loot, obviously. Otherwise, I'd have nothing. literally no scenario. It would just be me pulled over. But, um, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. So uh, make sure you guys come back for the next episode. And I will see you then. Peace out, guys.